hey guys, in the middle of a tutorial over here, um, start thinking. A lot of you guys are beginners. A lot of you guys, like me, are frugal, thrifty. Let's call it what it is. We're cheap. We're cheap. We like saving our money. Don't want to spend it if we don't have to. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a series called Cheap Airbrush Hacks. I'm going to save you guys some dollars here. Who doesn't love saving money? Um, masking. Alright, masking paper. Okay. So, I'm a business. I go through tons of the stuff. Um, tons. So, I buy masking paper by the roll. Okay. And if you're running a business, highly recommend it. Go through tons of the stuff. Doesn't mean I'm still not frugal. Um, one of the ways that I save money on my masking paper and tape, mind you. So I need this area masked off. I need this area masked off. I'm spraying this little teeny tiny eyeball. Um, I just don't want to get any overspray. I'm spraying reds. Um, I'd hate to have reds float on top of my white highlights here. Shift it all out of, out of tone. All right. So one way this would be done is you would take your paper Lay it on a flat surface, run your tape along, stick to the edge, stick it on, push down, do the same thing covering that with a piece of paper. That's a lot of tape, and that's a lot of paper, and I gotta do that two times at the other side. So rather than wasting all that material, Cutting board, paper, I know roughly the size of my eyeball. If you want to do a square, actually a square might be easier. Alright. Now then... I'm using this much tape. As opposed to... And then guess what guys? When I'm done painting this side, whip it on over to the other side. Boom! How cheap is that? And there you have it. So that's using paper by the roll. Take this one step further and rather than using paper by the roll, just grab yourself a sheet of loose leaf paper. Um, take it one step further. I do a lot of photocopying in my industry, um, making sure I got sizes to fit. Sometimes you're taking seven photocopies, get that right size. I got a box full of paper, it's just photocopied on one side, it's got nothing on the other side. Flip that over, I reuse that paper all the time. I reuse it for drawing, I reuse it for cutting stencils, I reuse it for masking if I run out of my paper by the roll. One step further, check out over my shoulder. Paper towel, even cheaper man. Um, as long as you're not spraying your paint crazy heavy and you're not worried about your paint bleeding through that paper towel, Boom! Let's do it. Let's do it. You think we go one step further? Let's do it even cheaper, guys. What gets delivered to your door for free? Flyers, man. Those are actually coated. You can use them with some of the more industrial paints. And they're free. Why throw them in the garbage, man? Use them to your advantage. Yeah. Yeah, I just told you to use flyers as masking paper. Don't throw that shit out. You dig? You dig? Save a dollar? You never know when those dollars can come in handy. Alright guys, cheap airbrush hacks, number one. 
We'll go for some more. Me and you, I'm on your side. One by one is how we build this bloodshot army. All right, guys, stay tuned for more. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Cheers.